Hey everyone, so we are back this summer with B90X, the Bible in 90 days. Um, we're gonna be doing a challenge group again and we would love for those of you who joined us last year um, to come back and do it again with us this year and to invite friends. And if you're new this year, we're excited to have you. Um, but last year, we went through the Bible canically um, from Genesis to Revelation, cover to cover. Um, this year, we're gonna do it a little bit differently. This year, we're gonna go through it and do it chronologically. So we're gonna um, be reading um, what's happening in the order historically in which it happened, which is really awesome um, because we're gonna get to see um, just a different insight than we saw last year. Um, this year, by going chronologically, we're gonna get to see in the midst of kings, when the prophets are speaking to those kings, we'll get to see them and what they're saying in the context of which they were saying it, which is really great instead of having to be in the prophets and think back to what was happening in kings at that time. Um, the same thing like with David. Uh, he wrote the Psalms as an expression of what he was going through at the time and his prayers to the Lord. And now we're gonna get to see them in the midst of what um, he was actually going through. Instead of trying to remember why is he talking about this? What was he going through at the time? We're gonna get to read his heart while we see the struggles and the trials um, that he was faced with. And so that type of reading, I think is gonna bring just a whole new um, depth this year, which I'm really excited about and just a way to do it differently. Um, so it's still going to be the same reading, the 90 days. We're going to start June 1st and end uh, October 31st. Um, there's a couple days in there, free days, which is probably going to mean makeup days if you missed one because it's a solid 45 minutes a day of reading. And the chronological way is a little bit more difficult just that you have to flip back and forth between books and it's not just turning the page um, cover to cover. So it requires a little bit more. Um, but this year we aren't going to do any uh, participation guide or study guide uh, like we did last year with additional questions. So this year it's really just you and the word. Um, I will, I do want to give you a couple of things that I use. Um, this will be my third time going through the Bible in 90 days. And these are some resources that I use um, that I have found helpful. So I wanna share those with you real quick and um, then you can start gathering your things, telling everybody and get started. So one of the things that I use um, when going through, I have this Bible that I bought that's called the Single Column Journaling Bible, the ESV. And I just use it for these challenges. So I've only used it the past two summers and this will be my third summer to use it um, because I just wanted something that I plan on doing this every summer and wanted something to just look at like how I've grown, what I've learned, and it's just really dedicated to this challenge. So again, use whatever Bible that you want. I chose this one because it has, um, it's a notebook kind, so it has the columns um, in the margins where you can write notes. So since we're just reading really fast and we're not taking time to study, I use those columns to really write notes to myself or questions I wanna go back to later, or, oh yeah, I remember that just happened a few days ago, which was a few books ago, now that makes sense, things like that. Another thing that I do, um, again, uh, because it's my third time to go through it, I chose the past two years or summers to use a different um, colored matte pencil to write in. So I know what year, uh, I'm, what comments these are linked to what year. So I can kind of see like what new things am I learning? How am I growing? Um, so for instance, like over here, this is, um, I wrote this in blue and this was the, another year that I wrote in um, you know, gray and this year I'll probably use a red so that if I add red on this writing I know it's from a different year and I just make a color code thing in the front of my Bible to say what's, what year. So I don't know, it's just a cool thing that I thought was just for me to be able to see. Um, what's so cool is that you can read the Bible every year as I'm going to start doing and every summer but learn something different every single time you go through it. And so that's a really cool way to see what new things God's showing you that you didn't write down last time, you didn't see, that he's just now showing you. So um, that's just a way to show that God's word is alive um, and totally depends on the seasons that you're going through, right? Um, the last thing I want to share with you is just a resource. This is the Essential Bible Companion. Um, all this is is just gives you a quick overview um, of each book. So one page overview of each book. Excuse my book, it got wet in our move, but um, Song of Songs, just one page, and it gives you some historical information, some context, um, a brief overview of the book. It's just one page additional as you're flying through the books, just to kind of make sure that you understand what you're reading and that you, um, just are retaining the information. It's a lot going through it this quickly. So it's a very, very small, just companion, just as you're reading through, if you want a little bit extra, uh, grab this you can get on Amazon for a few dollars. So those are the only resources I have for you. We're ex 
I'm stoked to do this with you again. Last year um, was my first time to do it as a challenge group and it was just so encouraging to not be doing it alone and to hear what other people have to say and, um, and just to be encouraged and have accountability too to keep at it. Um, so I, I hope that you use this group um, whatever way works best for you. You can post pictures on the Facebook of your daily reading. Um, you can post questions like, hey, I read this, what does this mean? Or well, or just also feel free to show or to post what God is doing, what God's showing you um, through the reading as well. Um, uh, it's just a last, you can go back, we've kept the same group, so you can scroll back if you're new and just kind of see the types of things that were posted last summer and just the encouragement and, and so you can kind of see how to use the group to however benefits you. Um, and I'll be praying for all of you that you finish strong um, and you stay accountable.